Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, dear colleagues. I'm really glad to be here. And uh, so these two days were uh, extremely important and interesting to me. So um, I'm really from the European University at St. Petersburg, uh, and I'm working with a topic and with problems of complaining in Russia during, I don't know, more than 15 years. Uh, so uh, actually, I would like to uh, tell you about some publication suggestions. But uh, before, uh, I would like to uh, maybe a couple of, to, to say a couple of words about who am I and why I'm suggesting you anything. So uh, this is a special issue um, of uh, our journal, uh, Laboratorium, Russian, uh, Russian Review of Social Research. Uh, and I edited a special issue several years ago, which was entirely devoted to problems of uh, complaining uh, in uh, uh, Eastern Europe. So um, we, uh, with my colleagues, uh, joined articles uh, about Poland, Germany, uh, Russia. Uh, there are also some uh, reviews of uh, research devoted to complaining. So uh, this is just maybe, a, yes, the content. Uh, the link to our journal where you can find all the texts on open access. And now I'm completing a book. Uh, now I'm completing a book uh, complaining to the authorities in Russia, Tradition and Legal Modernization, uh, which uh, represents transformations of, transformation of uh, uh, complaint mechanism from um, late Tsarist period uh, before before the Great October Revolution till nowadays, because now complaining to uh, the supreme power is extremely popular in Russia again, and here you can see a picture, which was uh, done maybe a couple of years ago, uh, how a person is uh, carrying uh, a letter to to the president of Russian Federation, and finally uh, the. Uh, the suggestion, which, which is the main point of my present br brief presentation, uh, Alena Ledinova, who is a professor of uh, University College of London, uh, is editing um, a series um, like the Global Encyclopedia of Informality. And here uh, on this slide, you can see one of the volumes which was devoted to informal economy and uh, economy of fevers. Uh, and this is, uh, I like a lot actually this series of publication, uh, which actually represent more like um, a historical and cultural dimension of informality in different cultures and different societies. And um, so if I may Yes, uh, I, I want to just to show you how this volume is organized. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to prepare uh, a special volume on uh, uh, problems of justice and complaints in different cultures and different societies. So is this what you wanted to show? Uh, now if the link... Uh, yes, this is behind the link that you Okay. So if it is possible to open to the contents. Yes. Uh, if you can if you can see uh, yes I think it is not really visible. Uh, so different authors uh, presented uh, rather brief papers on um, how these um, informal econ econom economic relations exist in different cultures. Uh, and they used um, so these original nominations of this phenomenon. Uh, so we are going to uh, prepare a volume uh, presenting uh, complaints in a similar way. So because we are always trying to find some common nomination for this phenomenon, like complaint or petition, 
but if we go deeper we always may find like uh, mm, great diversity yes great diversity because uh, these phenomena are rooted deeply in history and uh, culture of uh, the societies uh, so uh, we are planning to start uh, our work with this volume um, before the new year so maybe in december uh, and uh, so uh, i just inform you i just let you know about our plans and i invite you to collaborate so because um, during these two days uh, they were presented brilliant papers from different contexts uh, and uh, i believe that we could really make a great job okay that is all i wanted to tell you thanks a lot again and uh, i hope to stay to keep in touch with you thank, thank you, you.